38. Special guest this morning. Yeah, we've got uh, Kelly Hitchman this morning, and we got a couple different things we're talking about. Number one, you have an event coming up Sunday, right? Yes. The Grandview. Yep, what is Case that? Case on the River. It's a gourmet brunch. Uh, Lou at the Grandview is is welcoming us. I think this is a fourth or fifth year in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, so we get a staff of volunteers. We have three guest chefs, um, two from local universities, and actually his chef Eric um, from the Grandview is is preparing an entree as well. Um, so our guests have pre-ordered and. Um, basically they get to enjoy an afternoon of, of fine dining on the St. Lawrence river, okay. um, courtesy of, of our, our guest chefs and, um, our volunteer wait staff. Um, so it should be a, a great afternoon. We're just really grateful that Lou is, is mm-hmm. letting us come back in. He basically gives us the keys for the day and wow. there's not a lot of restaurant owners that, that would do that. Um, so, uh, we're very lucky that, that he, uh, supports hospice in that way. Yeah. Um, just kind of throws the keys and says, have a have a good afternoon. So, um, and then there's something else coming up uh, with pianos, right? Yeah, pianos? June June second. So we're just we're getting the word out now. Um, we're bringing a dueling piano company to uh, to town to Potsdam. Mm. Um, so I don't know if you've ever been to a piano bar away on vacation or or anything like that, but um, it's quite a show. It's not necessarily a concert. Mm-hmm. Um, it's uh, more of an interactive kind of like a comedy show. Right. Um, you make special requests and you can request that the band stop playing a certain song and play your song. And um, so they, you know, they incorporate a lot of humor into it uh, as well. Okay. Um, so as far as I know, there's not really anything like else like that around the North Country. So we're really excited to bring that um, again. In, in support of hospice um it's really kind of a uh it's kind of something for everybody um you know for adults of all ages so um that'll be at Chio campus center june 2nd it's a friday evening mm-hmm. um tickets are 30 dollars a piece you can get more information by visiting our website hospice slv.org okay. um tickets are on sale on there and um definitely get them now um because seating is limited so you know don't don't wait and say oh I'll get tickets later on or a couple days before the event be because gone. hopefully they'll be gone yeah. Uh, and then something else that that we didn't really know much about until recently. Um, when when you when you have deaths at like schools and things yeah. like that, unexpected things. Right. Um, that's when hospice goes in for like counseling. Yep. Um, is we, I, don't, well, I don't know much about what. What's yeah. Going, the yeah. And all that. Absolutely. So basically, the the services, the end of life care that we provide for mm-hmm. patients and families and and things like that. Right. That's an insurance benefit. Yeah. So that's covered by Medicaid, Medicare, private insurance companies, things like that. Um, there's a lot of services that we provide that there's no funding for. There's no reimbursement for. And that service, um, going in and providing counseling mm-hmm. to the schools, is one of them. We also provide a training every year for um, school counselors. And it's basically, you know, the, the counselors at the schools do a great job of working with the students, but... Um, you know, uh, an unexpected death of a student is not something that they're they're taught to deal with. They're trained to deal with. Uh-huh. Um, you know, we all hope it doesn't happen, but the the sad reality is that it does. Um, so uh, unfortunately, um, we've been in in schools twice this year. Um, you know, just within the last month or so, yeah. um, and uh, that's that's not something that's covered by anything. Right. But it's we have the expertise to to help, and um, it's a, a service that we feel that we need to provide. So when we do fundraisers or when people suggest uh, don- donations in memory of a loved one, um, all of all of that support really does go back into the community. Um, in in those services, it helps provide you know extra you know maybe an extra nursing visit for a patient. It helps to cover all those costs. We maintain a standard of care regardless of what we're reimbursed for, um, and that's that's where the community support comes from. So we we have an expertise, and we feel that it's very important that um, we put that to use not only for the patients and families that we serve, but the community as a whole. Um, so we uh, you know we're, we're trying to come up with um, things that that uh, events that are fun and exciting like the pianos right. and you know tastes who doesn't like a, a good uh, really you know a nice gourmet meal um, so you, you you get something out of it you get some entertainment or you know a nice meal but you also help to support all those important services right and that's what the fundraising come where that comes into play to yeah. fund things like these counseling absolutely. services and all that too yeah, um more info on all the events and, way, and anything website. you do yep. is is slv hospice Hosp- hospice slv.org hospice slv.org yep. thanks for coming in today thanks a lot really appreciate it Eight forty three. this is 21 pilots yes fm